lot we can get into. We don't have any live bait again today. Hazmat is busted also, so check that off with all the rest of the crap that's broken on this boat. We're getting after it, guys. What can you do? I don't know. Man. This is our attitude. We're like, screw it, we're gonna do it. Oh my god, that was a huge win. Oh, that was a big hit. trolling motor you can just pick up and move and yeah you're gonna look at three to five thousand dollars to get these trolling motors um, installed with batteries and everything this is a 36 volt battery unit I'm just gonna move up to a different piece of this rock and see if the current on the back side of the rock is a little more conducive to catching some fish all right so what you guys do right here guys tidbit find which direction come out find which direction your boat is going to be facing if you have a trolling motor or obviously a anchor, look at your compass. Right now we're facing almost dead south. So anything you come into structure-wise, you need to come into from the north to the south and then hit your spot lock or anchor above it and come back down. I've never done this. We're 47 feet deep. I've got a pin fish and I threw a three ounce weight on there and I'm gonna drop him to the bottom and see if I can get any action on this reef. I know in Florida they use pinfish for bait a lot. I'm just gonna let them sit down there and swim around and see if anything bites. We, we're having no luck on anything, y'all. Nothing. I'm just waiting for it. I just want something to eat this pinfish. I don't care if it's a shark. I don't care what it is. Come and hammer this thing so I can, we can get a tug, little tug. I can't believe that we're not getting a bite throwing this down here. If you threw, a bunker down there, you'd probably get a bite. Uh, guys, comment below. Do you throw a pinfish down? Do you have a chance of getting any fish? Again, we're in North Carolina. Do predatory fish eat the pinfish? Right? They should. That's a fish. Something ate them. It's not big. Something definitely ate them. It's a cross it off the list. It's a grouper. Are you kidding me? We are not moving. Look at that. It's a grouper. Hi, hey, little buddy. How big do they have to be? I don't think he's big enough to keep, but we'll look him up. I don't even know what kind of grouper. Ow. No to Oh, look at the teeth on that dude. Oh. Gnarly little teeth. Oh, man, we're throwing another one of these down there. That's super cool. I'm, I'm gonna see what kind of grouper that is, but that's my first grouper. Sure. Grab up on that. That's so cool. Huh? It feels so much different than any other fish I've It feels like more thick goo. It's like <laughs> sticker. All right, let me see what kind of grouper he is for one, and then we'll uh, see what we got going on. That's cool. At least we got another species. It's not happy. That's for sure. All right, let me see what we got. Hold on. Definitely. Guys, if you don't use the fish rules app, man, I'm telling you, it's awesome. All right, he is a, um, just a gag grouper. Just a gag grouper. It's gonna have to be huge, 24 inches. I would say he's not quite 24. All right, so we're gonna let him go. Go ahead, let him, let's let him go. He's going back to the depths. Whoa, he did not mess around, did he? Nope. Where that one, son? That was pretty cool. All right, so that's pretty exciting. We gotta, we're gonna throw this bait back down there because who knows now. Oh, I don't know what's going on down there. Shrimp might be the way to go. There's a 
at least out here on some of these on this wreck different species too second it hits second it hits they're popping Thing. They're like sheep's head teeth. What is this fish, y'all? What is that fish? No. Doesn't take long. They pop pretty good. I mean, they pull. That one doesn't seem to be pulling as hard. That's him. Throw them in the cooler. I don't know what those are. No, I don't know what that fish is, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's not filming, y'all. Sorry. It's like... Alright, I cleared you guys off there. Check out this jellyfish thing. Wait, hold on. Hi. See that Check red bone? jellyfish. Red bone. It's swollen. It's hard. It's really bad. It's hard? swollen. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, he got stung by a jellyfish, that's for sure. Got him. So, cool time offshore with Brooks. We caught a couple new species. It was super slow, like it's been the last four days. But you have to deal, when you're fishing, you deal with what you got. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to have some fun at the same time. The kids are coming out. We're doing family stuff. That's what it's about. Sophisticated redneckery family edition. That's right, baby. So Brooks is using up all the bait. I don't know if we're going to be finishing this video today, tomorrow. Oh, B's got a fish of some sort. Oh my God. He got a crab. All right, so B caught a stone crab. On another tiny fiddler crab. On a um, fiddler crab. So check this dude's out, claws out. They are in season, so two and three quarter, which he is, he measures two and three quarters, so we can keep those claws Wait, and steam them up. Let's try. And, oh, what are you doing? How long So we're gonna he? take his claws off and put him back in and he'll regrow grow his claws. Yep, definitely two and three quarters, on the three inches. No, hold him tight, claw. hold him tight, dude, he's gonna get you. I don't want him to get me. So we're gonna let him go, but here, I'm gonna find out, we're gonna find out how to break these claws off really quick and then uh, let him go. <laughs> All right, so I just pulled off the claws from this stone crab. They are two and three quarter inches from here to here. Legal right now, and the crab can go back. All right, here, I'm gonna put him back up here. So. Give him goodbye. He'll go, but he'll find right. his way. Mm -hmm. See you, buddy. You acid. Oh, there you go. Oh, he'll go. He'll go on back down to the depths. He'll regrow those claws and be good to go. These so now we can steam some stone crab claws. These will be just nice. Little appetizer. Yes, little and we'll try them. We've never had them. So I think Brooks is going to be able to taste it. That's about it. But um, cool. Good job, buddy. On a fiddler crab, too. He a ate fiddler another crab. crab. That's all right. Hey, you never know. We've caught, the, we've caught the weirdest stuff on this trip. We haven't caught a lot of anything. We've caught some weird stuff. All right, guys. So I'm sitting here editing this footage, and I totally forgot that we had cooked up those black, those ring tailed grunts as part of the red fish catch and cook a couple weeks ago. So we have footage from that. So I'm gonna cut from the fishing portion to the cooking portion in my parents' house in North Carolina. We did a taste test on the ring-tailed grunt or black-tailed grunt or spot, I think down south they call them, with sea bass and a couple other fish. Guys, check it out. 
see what we thought of this ring-tailed grunt, a.k.a. another trash fish out there. Enjoy. So we got our olive oil right here. How is it? You need a bunch of it, so just spray a bunch of it. What taste? Wow. It doesn't come out very fast. Now we got vegetable yeah. oil right just to mix it a little bit well. with the oil. Oh, that's a pot. With the, um, that's right. more. A little more. So and that's fine. Right. Just cover the bottom. Pickles. These we're just going to do salt and pepper. Avocado. Except for this one, it got a little Cajun Delicious. on them. <laughs> it's okay. Is, that, is this all sea bass? All the sea bass? So no, right, guys. these are like sea bass. These are sea bass. These are grunt. These are pork. So these are the ring, these are ringtail ring or whatever you guys want to call them, ringtail porgy or whatever they're called. Ringtail porgies, yeah. yeah Some people call them porgy. spot down south, but yeah. that's not a spot we know. Ringtail porgy. Little fish. That's these right here. That's these. Oh. Okay. Ringtail porgy right here, as we call them. You can call them whatever you want. But then we got our cro croaker. Then we have our sea bass. All right. So salt and pepper at the top of each of them, and a little garlic pepper or garlic that salt. That stuff is good. Yeah. So we got a little garlic salt right here. Uh. And our homemade jar, and our home jar right here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that on there. On all of them, you can just spread them out and spread it all on all of them. Keep it simple. That's good. On those sea bass. Actually, kind of getting a little more. Got pepper right here, and we got our salt yeah. right here. So we got our sea bass right here. I'm gonna put this on that side. Okay, so there's your sea bass. You're done. Throw some on that side. And we got all of all these ring down board here, whatever they are. Here. Hold on, move that. These look big. Like, you think, move that off the end of the meat. Now remember, when your uh, fish is ready, it's loose. Oh. We got our sea bass right there. We got our um, croaker right there. Then we got our porgy still cooking right there that is popping up at me. So I don't know. All right, they're done. Clean up. All right, guys. Yeah, so we got our porgy right there. Then we have our got our porgy right here. Wow. It's so. That, Wait until you taste that those. That is so good. That is so good. I mean, okay. Porgy. That's really good. All right, now we got our sea bass here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare the sea bass to the porgy. It's really close. It's really close. How many close. porgy do you think, you think we could have caught if we stayed out there in, like in, in 20 minutes? 70. 70. We doubled up every time. My, go we don't get to go. No, just give me a review of your fish. What are you eating? A nice uh, This is some um, pogey, I think. Porgy. Porgy. Yeah. Um, really dumb. good. It got cold because I was waiting. Yeah, what about the sea bass right next to it? Oh, what, I already tried that. Which one's better, the sea bass or the porgy? They're both really good. See? And guys, this the porgy, this black tail or ring tail black spot porgy, is a trash fish. So part of what we do is we, you know, people are like, oh, there's so many biases out there, and you don't eat this fish or don't eat that fish. Go out and you catch these fish, take your kids out and have them cook them up. Oh, well, these Grant, these Grant, saltwater Grant fish are amazing. All right, so that was pretty cool. You guys could see right there what we thought of the ring-tailed grunt. Another trash fish that people catch all the time and until somebody literally puts a catch and cook out on them, you don't know how these things taste unless you do it yourself. My advice, just like Brooke said, if you get a chance, you catch these ring-tailed grunt, put as many in your cooler as you can, cook them up. You will not be disappointed. We just did salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic on these things and they were absolutely amazing. They stood toe to toe with the sea bass and you know we love sea bass. Everybody loves a good sea bass. White fish, flaky, just a great sea fish. Um, so overall, highly recommend the ring-tailed grunt and if anybody has a different name for that fish, I've heard Guys have commented on the Instagram side of things because this was a couple weeks ago, like three or four different names. So I'm not sure what to call it, but it was a great fish, and I appreciate you guys hanging out for the video. Make sure to hit that like button for us, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you know when we post videos. All right, we appreciate it, guys. Until the next one, have a good one.